What's the scariest moment in a video game you've ever had? One of the most underrated games I have ever seen is called Do You Copy, and it horrified me. It's made via Unity Engine, but I could be mistaken. It focuses on psychological horror more than it does other element. It's about a forest watchtower hearing a distressed hiker over a radio, and it just escalates from there. It's some of the best work I have seen, especially for how low of a budget the team had. I don't remember what it was, but Silent Hill made me not want to play any more horror games. In FEAR when you turn to climb down the ladder and boom, there's a scary girl. When I first played Amnesia, The Dark Descent, I spent a significant portion of the game just sort of pushing through everything with the attitude that it's just a game, it can't hurt you, just do it. But there was this one moment when I was in a sewer part of the game where I sort of knew I had to cross through a particular area where I could hear a monster lurking and there weren't that many places to hide as I went through. I remember being gripped by this primal fear that I've never really felt in a game before, like I could feel pretty much feel it in the pit of my stomach. Once you've seen behind the curtain and you understand how the game works, it becomes a whole lot less scary, but the first time through, when the game was just full of so many unknowns, it was definitely an experience. A few come to mind. The first 3 hours of my first playthrough of Re7, before you learn the game's tricks and how to fight back, could only do it 30 minutes at a time. The giant head in the hospital hallway in Silent Hill 4 was just so out of nowhere, and it appears at random. The only jump scare in Eternal Darkness, truly earned. Mr. X from the Resident Evil 2 remake because he's invincible, and you have no time to think. Doing some exploring in Stalker, when I find an empty building. Outside is chaos, but here it's quiet, doesn't feel right. Look down one dark hallway, and see something at the end. Cautiously inch forward, and see that it's a dead body. Don't even bother looting it, before losing my nerve and turning back, only for a bloodsucker, to appear right in front of me. Had to pause and take a break for a while, before emptying my mag into that walking bullet sponge nightmare fuel. The first dead space will always have a special place in my heart. Some of the jump scares. Plus the regeneration monster had me shitting myself. Edit. Thanks you all. Glad we all were traumatized together. The zombie dogs in Resident Evil jumping through the windows. God damn. First encounter with a regenerator in Resident Evil 4. I noped the fuck out when I saw the thing sliver towards me when I shot off the leg. Edit. Link. I don't know if it was my young age or the game, but Silent Hill 2 was pretty fucking scary. In Half-Life 2, I recall a point where the game draws your attention up some stairs. As you start to ascend, the stairs break and collapse, dropping you in front of some zombies. Playing late at night, it totally got me. Echo the dolphin, when I was like 10 and a shark came out of nowhere. PT. Don't touch that dial now we are just getting started. Sudden cut to silence with Lisa's ghastly visage right in front of you. I mean honestly the whole thing is a heebie-jeebies simulator. Resident Evil. Director's cut. When that Mathurfica slowly turns around after munching on that jack of slower GI tract, I would always freak out. It's not even a horror game but Red Dead Redemption 2. I was casually riding my horse through a very dark forest tonight, and saw a body that had been hung from a tree along the side of the path. Thought it was kind of sad, and got off my horse to shoot the dude down but suddenly these completely silent guys rush out of the bushes and start attacking me with knives. I couldn't see them because of how dark it was. I panic and back up trying to shoot one, guy didn't make a sound when I shot him. He just crumbled silently but there was too many of them, and they rushed me, and silently hacked at me with melee weapons. The dark and the complete silence of the whole thing freaked me way more than any jump scare from a horror game, idky. Basically any moment in Alien Isolation, one of the most atmospheric games I've ever played. Subnautica, most of the game, if you play in the dark lol. 
In Resident Evil 1 Remake, when a hunter jumped from the second floor to the first next to the east wing safe room. It was my third time playing the remake and hunters never did that, without counting my 10 plus years of experience with the original game. Scared me shitless, never felt safe in the game again. It's kind of a dumb one, but the vanishing of Ethan Carter. The game is very nearly just a walking simulator, but there's a point when you're underground, and, if you look down a path to your right, you spy what appears to be a man in the distance holding a lantern. This is the first person ever encountered, and this is like 2 third s through the game. So I just kind of stared at him for a second, wondering how to approach the situation, since he's the first human, or any kind of NPC, I've encountered in this entire game. Before I decide what to do, he blinks out of existence. Now, there are some atmospheric, mildly creepy things, that have happened already, so I was just like ha, huh, must be my character Halusi. Blah egg, jump scare, him slash it right in your face, full screen, and you game over. Holy fuck nuggets, did I scream, probably threw my mouse in the air. Immediately shut the game off, and nope the fuck out to that bitch. Bioshock, my ex made me play in the dark, and I jumped more than I'd care to admit. The first time I encountered a Reaper Leviathan in Subnautica. I was just walking around in Skyrim, and then a bear roared in my ear randomly for the first time. They purposely amplified the sound effect of the bears, to be 100x louder than anything else in the game. It scared the shot out of me. Man bad popping up and screaming at you as you're trying to grapple up a building in Arkham Knight startled the fuck out Tammy. Walking into the shallow bridge cradle in Thief Deadly Shadows. It wasn't just scary, it was terrifying. That level made me stop playing several times and just start over the game, so I didn't have to go in there. Or just any moment in Subnautica, when you begin to go deeper and deeper into the quiet darkness. The flood in Halo combat evolved, the build up with the environment, and found footage along with the off music made for an awesomely terrifying fight for my life. Soma, you have no weapons, and if they find you, the effect is terrifying. Sometimes I had to wait for my girlfriend to come over because I couldn't play it alone. Masterfully done atmospheric horror. Playing DLOU. Clearing out some clickers when my 5 year old daughter sneaked out of bed to ask me something, and before I knew she was behind me she whispered daddy, in my ear. There's a point near the end of Silent Hill 2 where you can't keep going, unless you get rid of asterisk asterisk evrything asterisk asterisk in your inventory. Let me tell you, walking through pitch black corridors listening only to the sound of your footsteps and the grotesque writhing noises the monsters make with no way of fighting back is extremely nerve wracking. Encountering man bat in Batman Arkham Knight. It's gotta be the monsters near the end of Uncharted those monkey motherfucks gave me nightmares for a good week. Recently, freaking Jeff and Half-Life Alex, my heart rate was at like 200 bps that entire chapter. I'm terrified of spiders. In Resident Evil 2, there are huge, bear-sized spiders in the sewers. The first time I played that game the spider scared the shit out of me, and it took me a few hours before I could continue playing. The first time I encountered a Les Hen in Witcher 3, I literally rode roach across half the map to escape. In Until Dawn, when Ashley investigates the voice instead of following the group, she's my favorite character. Subnautica. Not the jumpscares, but the game taught me the true meaning of anxiety. Legend of Zelda. There was a creature called Dead Hands. Nightmarish. Not sure scary is the right word, but creeped out and disturbed, the broodmother plotline from the first Dragon Age. The body horror combined with the gradually unfolding realization, via the poem and the visual evidence, was well done. Also, Dragon Age Origins was far darker than the sequels. That get out voice from Donkey Kong 64. It didn't scare me that bad, but I was a little bit creeped out. When I thought I accidentally used my master ball on something stupid in Pokemon Red. 